Wow, this is amazing. Can't believe this is even true. What? What is it? You're wrong. Tell me. Well, according to popularscience.com, it's impossible to clap your hands with your eyes closed. You are an idiot. Watch. You're not even really trying. Watch and learn, novice. Oh my god, Dwight. That's amazing. How'd you do that? Shut it. What did you do? Why is my computer off? I don't know. Maybe it's a side effect of being able to clap with your eyes closed. Maybe that's why no one can do it. You'd be surprised how cheap you can get a clap of these days. Amazing. Hey, everyone, please give Dwight a round of applause. Today is St. Patrick's Day, and uh, you know, we're gonna do this thing right today. You know, I love the Irish. I love everything about the Irish. I love their grassy hills, their Guinness, um, their soap, Irish Spring. And um, you know, I just don't think they get enough credit around here, and I think they deserve this day. You know, I want people to leave here today and say, wow, you know, the Irish are great people. They didn't deserve to be without tail for so long. That looks heavy. That's what she said. <sighs> Top of the morning. So you bought a giant leopard home? Yeah, I just thought I'd line things up a bit. Get everyone in the spirit of P-Day. Like me, Michael? Ugh, oh, no. You look like someone dyed your clothes green. Actually, someone did do that. And I will bring him or her to justice. You think I did it? Of course I did. Uh, Frank, I'm offended you. You don't have to ask anymore. So, uh, listen, Jim. Do you have those, uh, stereo speakers in your trunk? Because I just got Fergie's new album, The Duchess. So, I'm gonna get this party started, right? Uh, yeah, sure. No problem. Every St. Patrick's Day, Michael brings in a new CD and volunteers Jim to bring in speakers to play. But by the time he starts partying, he just puts one song on repeat for the whole night. Last year, it was Chris Brown's Run It, because Michael says sometimes St. Patrick's Day makes him feel like he's 16 years old again. Great, great. And it is settled. Jim will bring the stereo, I will bring the beats, and uh, Phyllis, you still that fondue fountain we had last year? We didn't have fondue fountains last year. Uh, yeah, we did, because I remember someone brought in this bowl of chocolate covered raisins, and they were delicious. I think those were raisinets, and I think you took those from my desk drawer. You told me Dwight gave those to you as a President's Day yet. Hush. Uh, look, Phyllis, it was St. Patrick's Day, and I think St. Patrick would be saddened to know that you were holding out candy on the celebration of his birth. Isn't St. Patrick's Day to commemorate his death? That's to, that's to mention no one celebrates someone dying, okay? Well, you guys obviously don't know anything about St. Patrick's Day. And you know what? Until you do, I will be in my office. I love you, Michael! You're not wearing green. And? It's St. Patrick's Day. That means they get to pinch you. Don't touch me. I don't like St. Patrick's Day. It's an excuse to get drunk and act like monkeys. The only good side is, every year, the local convenience store sells St. Patrick's Day postcards with Pierce Brosnan on them. Please tell me you're not going to let him throw another party. Of course I am. I owe him. 
he's not the only one you owe. That's not fair. I thought I had brought enough chocolate. So you're not going to let Michael ruin the music again this year, are you? Ruin? You mean you don't think he does a great job? I don't know about you, but by the 300th time I hear run it, I am completely ready to party. Right. What do you think he's doing in there? You don't think he's organizing a fine pot of gold scavenger hunt, do you? I don't know. It depends on whether he can... Hey, Jim. Hey, Pam. Hey, um, I was wondering if you wanted to see a movie tonight after the party. Uh, yeah, sure. That sounds great. Great. Let's do it. Cool. You know, I understand Jim and Pam have a history, but I trust Jim. So when they talk, it doesn't bother me much. I've got something in store for those naysayers out there. Just adding the finishing touches. Now, if they're not going to try and appreciate this day, I'm going to make them appreciate this day. You know, they're going nowhere. Nowhere. Good knock saints.